All right, this is the new thing we're doing. If you want to be mentored on how to make money online, direct hands-on training, my process, my secret sauce, go below, fill out the application in the first comment to actually set up a phone call. Now, essentially, it's gonna take you less than a minute to answer the questions and the things that we have going on. So go ahead, hit that link in the first comment. And if you need consulting, like how to set up an LLC, how to set up a holding company, there's a link under that where you can go up and set up your consulting call. All right, so let's talk about evictions. Evictions are mounting. Evictions, I was just watching an article on a news channel in California, there was like a three year hold on evictions. Now that's gone. So that would probably be the last date where there was a moratorium on evictions. So across the country, courts are flooded with landlords filing eviction notices. And I think this is just the beginning. Let's kind of go back and talk about to what got us here. During the pandemic, we had a lot of allowances. We had a lot of things that was happening in the economy that allowed people to live in a house and not be foreclosed on, to be in an apartment, not be evicted, not have their car repossessed. There was a lot of things going on. And now, 2023, we're in the real economy where this stuff doesn't exist and the amount of people being evicted is skyrocketing. The number of folks who are going through an eviction, the number of people who are having evictions is skyrocketing. Now, there are multiple reasons for people being evicted, multiple layers to this. There are some people who are just struggling. They're just really, really struggling and they can't pay the rent. That's a group of people that my heart goes out for. I mean, it's gotta be a terrible situation to be living somewhere you can't afford to pay the rent. That's gotta be extremely stressful. And one of the things that it's gonna do is cause a lot of stress, angst, and uncertainty. So my, my heart goes out to these people who are struggling. Now there's another group. Now this is another group of people. This is a group of people who are going to hack the system. These are people who will move into a place, have enough money for the um, first month's rent and the security deposit, and will never ever pay rent again. I know a ton of landlords got screwed by these people during the pandemic just screwed they moved in and never paid rent and then when the congress put these mandates in place where you couldn't evict anyone you've got landlords out there who literally uh, i was watching this guy he's owed fifty six thousand dollars in back rent that's not one year that is years of people not paying rent so you had a group of people who hacked the system, who got a place to live, and just refused to pay rent again. Just refused. And this is, I don't know how many of these people are out there. I have no clue to how many of these people are out there. But you have a lot of landlords whose credit is about to be destroyed because now everything is rolling in the real economy. Everything is moving in the real economy. Everything is happening in the real economy. So now that everything is happening in the real economy, these landlords who own these properties, and I know you hear about Blackstone and these large corporations that own these houses. The majority of rental properties in America are owned by small time landlords. This is people like regular and normal folks who have maybe one, two, three houses and they have mortgages on these houses. This is the majority of people who are landlords in the landlord business. And a lot of these people are starting to get hurt because if you have 
three houses and you've got people, let's say you've got people in two of your houses who are just not paying rent and you can't pay the rent on this rental property. You can't pay the mortgage on this rental property, okay? So now this puts you in a situation where foreclosures are back, all right? So after only so long, the banks are gonna foreclose on that property even though you have a renter in there who's not paying rent. And this is where things are gonna get really, really nasty for certain landlords who have these people in their property. Once again, my heart goes out to the people who are struggling. I uh, was watching a news thing and this woman, she recently had a heart attack and she was short that month on her rent because she had a heart attack. She's now trying to work it out through the court system. And the thing that she said was we pay most of the rent. She said we pay most of the rent. Not, and this kind of brings me back to um, when I was renting cars. This lady actually, because uh, I remember I shut the car off, then I went to pick it up and I got this message. She's like, I'm only two days late. I'm only two days late. And once again, I don't know what she said, what she meant exactly when she said we pay most of the rent, but um, that just brought back a memory. Like I'm only two days late. Cause essentially when you are a property owner and you have someone that has access to your property and they're not paying you, it makes you mad. It makes you a little bit unsettled. So this is, you know, like she said, uh, I pay most of the rent. I, like, I don't know if she said she was late one time or, but that most of the, that, that got me because here's the thing. When you're out here uh, doing these things and you're selling, you're, you're, you're renting something to someone, your expectation is you get to use this property and I get my rent. That's the expectation. And when we start getting into this, well, I'll be late or I won't pay you all of the rent, then just things get a little strange, you know? Things get a little wild. Things get a little crazy. So one of the things that you have to understand and acknowledge is that the reality of the situation. So I, what I feel is going to happen is we're going to have a multitude of people who are going to run into this situation where they're not going to have rent in 2024. And what we're going to see, because here's the thing, right now, you can go ahead, go to YouTube, check it out. Courts around the country are clogged with um, eviction processes. I was watching this one lady, she said normally the court would have 50 this day, the court had 170, 120 more than they normal would have. And I think this is just around the country where the courts are literally clogged and they're behind. And this is the thing that happens. As a landlord, you cannot just go throw someone out the house. You just can't knock on the door and like, hey, get out, get out, get out. You can ask them to leave, and if they choose to leave, that's okay, but you cannot physically force someone to leave your rental property. Um, once again, you can ask them to leave, but that's about it. And if they choose not to leave, the only system you have is the court system, and the court systems are already clogged. They're already behind. And what I see happening is they're gonna get even more behind and even more behind because there's gonna be more and more eviction cases of people getting evicted because once we start to go through this massive wave of layoffs that I just feel is coming, we're gonna have more and more evictions, more and more evictions. And you know, there are people who understand that they don't have the money to pay their rent and they will leave. They will just simply take their stuff and go somewhere and move in with a friend, move in with a relative and leave. I feel that the landlords who have those kind of tenants are very fortunate because the people who would just leave 
typically will not destroy the property. And this is another issue. You got someone who's not paying you rent, living in your property, and actually destroying the property and doing certain things to create damage. I was watching this video, this woman like literally poured some type of stuff down the toilets, you know, it, this is where demo people, demo people, trash people come in like, all right, I ain't gonna pay you your rent. I'm gonna get mad because you want me to leave and I'm going to destroy your property. I feel for landlords who have those type of rental, rental um, tenants. I feel for those because there's a group of people that will not pay their rent and will literally destroy your property. I remember I was talking to this guy who had an Airbnb in Tennessee and you know, it's really strange because he had someone who stayed in his place and they were like, they stayed really long. And I forget how, I'm not hundred percent sure how the law works, but once you stay certain past a certain point, you're no longer a short term tenant. You become a renter and rental laws come in and he took him like five months to get them out. And they literally destroyed this place, destroyed it. Holes in the walls, plumbing was messed up. The kitchen was just, and I, like, you know, for the landlords out there who are struggling with this, my heart goes out to you because, you know, unless you got that tenant, this is like, hey, I can't pay the rent. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna get up out of here. You're, you're just screwed. You're just screwed as a landlord. And I see a lot of groups talking about tenant rights. Okay, now, if you're paying your rent and you have a landlord that's not doing certain things, not taking care of certain things, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. However, what rights do you have as a tenant when you're not paying your rent? Put that in the comments because typically, if you pay your rent, you don't even end up in eviction court. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we have these situations of people who are out there doing things, creating things, setting up certain things, and it's just not happening in the manner that it should happen. So one of the things that we will see in 2024, I don't care if it's an election year, we're gonna see a massive wave of evictions because is happening. Right now, you have people looking for jobs, but they can't seem to find jobs. So 2024 is going to be a very interesting year for people who are trying to actually learn how to, well, not learn. It's, it's, going, to be a, it's going to be a year where people are going to be put in a situation where they're gonna have a lot of issues with people who are gonna be evicted. And then once again, the issues on both sides. It's on the side of the tenant who's being evicted. It's on the side of the landlord who has a mortgage to pay on that rental property. So what I just see, cause it's already building, you know, go ahead and check, do a few YouTube searches you will see that the eviction courts are massively overwhelmed right now. Right now, this isn't even 2024. The, the eviction courts are overwhelmed right now. The eviction courts, the sheriffs, the deputies, the people who carry out the evictions and stuff, they're overwhelmed. And I just see this problem getting to be much and much worse. All right, so once again, let you guys know we have some new training where I will teach you how to make this money online and that link is in the first comment below if you don't need that below that is a link to set up a consulting call to let you know that let you know the things I got going on so that's what's happening all those links are below all right that's all I got for you guys today let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments and I will talk to you in the next one